Now at five, a heated debate underway in Camas where voters will soon decide whether to build a massive community aquatic center. And I'm Jeff Gianola at five along with Jennifer Hoff. And on the November ballot, there is a bond levy for $78 million. It's a lot of money. City leaders say it's the kind of facility that the community said that it wanted. Opponents are arguing that the city's proposal, though, is just over the top. Our Amy Frazier live in Camas tonight digging deeper into this controversy. Amy? Yeah, opponents say the plan is too elaborate and too expensive. Take a look. Right now, you really can't go anywhere in Camas without seeing signs like these urging people to vote either yes or no on this issue. On November 5th, voters in Camas will vote on Proposition 2, known as the pool bond. If approved, the $78 million bond levy would include funding the construction of a 78,000 square foot community aquatic center on city-owned property near Heritage Park. A leisure pool with slides and lazy river and then a lap pool and then it's got fitness rooms for classes and aerobic and weight equipment and then it's got a gymnasium with two courts for multi-sports. Until recently, Camus had an outdoor pool at Crown Park, but it was aging and the city demolished it. It's not that Camus doesn't want a pool. Phil Williams is with a group called No to Camus Pool Bond. He argues a 20-year bond costing homeowners with a $480,000 home around $500 annually will tax families right out of Camus. It's not well thought out. It's too expensive. It's going to last for a long time, and a lot of the people in this town just plainly can't afford it. In addition to the aquatic center, the bond also includes road and parking improvements nearby, as well as upgrades to three other city-owned sports facilities. However, it does not cover operating costs for the new center. It would require um, fees to for um, for annual passes. As voters weigh their options, the city administrator has this message. Council has not imposed anything on, pe on the people yet. It's the most democratic process. They believe that this is what the community wanted and they're asking the community, if the community doesn't want it, then it won't happen. And again, voters will decide on this issue on November 5th. We have much more tonight at coin.com. Back to you.